what is that up there? Right? Yeah, right, right there. See it? Some guy on the lookout. Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Where the Heck Are the Albans and Where the Heck Are the Albans? We are in Lyle, Illinois today and we are at the Morton Arboretum. Um, or Arboretum. You say pajamas, I'll say pajamas. Um, but we are here for Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there Happy today. Happy Mother's Day! And, uh, but we are Thank at you. the Morton Mor um, Morton Arboretum and the main reason we are here this is actually a surprise for Becky she didn't know we were coming here today but we are here to do some troll hunting she has been wanting to do this for the longest time and uh as we it, yep and uh, I'll explain what troll hunting is. And we, but while we don't we're get to take path. any trolls home like we did with the mushrooms. No, no. We just have to hunt for them and find them. And once you see them, you'll realize why we can't take them home. True. I didn't bring a big enough car. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go on into the Morton Arboretum and do some troll hunting. Hello. Hey. Your hair is getting so long, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Yours too. Yeah. We grow hair in this family. I know, but mine looks like the same <laughs> length it's been forever. It's not cool. The hairdresser is constantly amazed because I have secret hair. It doesn't look like I have a lot of hair. But then she goes to cut it and I have all kinds of hair. Yeah. <laughs> it's like we call it secret hair. Mm-hmm. But this is like a horse. <laughs> Sorry, but it's like yeah, a just horse. rip it out of her head. I want it. <laughs> Everything is getting so nice and green and blooming. But the first place that we are going to visit today is we need to get a map for the troll hunt here at the visitor center. So instead of exiting through the gift shop, we're going to enter through the gift shop today. I like this shirt. It says, the forest is calling. Don't let it go to voicemail. <laughs> and look at this shirt here. It says, the troll hunt. That's a good one. That, one's, that, that one screams Maddie. The future needs trees. So what is happening, why we entered the gift shop first, is because it is actually very cold out today. Um, it's been in the 70s and such, and of course on Mother's Day when we're going to hang out outside, 50 some odd degrees, I mean, just like low 50s. So nobody dressed really appropriately, um, so at least the girls didn't, so we're stopping in to buy hoodies or sweatshirts for them. Okay, so we got our official Troll Hunter's Handbook uh, for the Troll Hunt. Uh, uh, these trolls were made by Thomas Bambo. I, think, I believe I'm pronouncing it right. It's either Bambo or Bambo. Um, so my apologies to him if I am saying his name wrong. Okay, so inside this map, they show you where all the trolls are, but they give you some uh, good pointers. So your phone uh, is your tour guide. You download the Morton Arboretum app on your Android or Ar iPhone and uh, you'll find a tour of the troll hunt. Uh, the troll archives and uh, the troll tree connection. And then uh, they tell you a little bit about the artist. He specializes in creating, creating imaginative art pieces, sculptures, furniture, and more from recycled materials. Okay, so it is very windy today. Okay, wait, wait, can I tell you a story? So in the Visitor gift shop, center. Yeah, gift yeah. shop or whatever, they had like little pocket acorns, okay? And an old Nordic myth says that if you carry an acorn in your pocket, it ensures a long life. And I just... I think that Emerson's going to buy us all acorns. But like, oh. look, acorns. There's acorns everywhere in the, yeah, in the statuary. Yeah, there's that you can take. Yeah, I, I just feel like that this is their theme. Okay, so I'm going to apologize uh, if there is, uh, if it's hard to hear. It is super windy today. Super windy. But look at all these pretty flowers that are already out. 
Checking out. And you all know, I'm a sucker for a pretty flower. All right, and here we go. We got a little bit of ways to walk. We got to go through the children's garden first to get to our very first troll. We had to mentally prepare ourselves today. We are going to do some walking. Lots of walking. I do believe these are cherry blossoms. We're not 100% sure, but we're I think not, they are. We're not very good identifiers. Yeah. We're not Debbie. <laughs> That's true. Debbie's very good at that. I'm just going to find out what kind of tree this is. It's very interesting. It's called Hardy Rubber Tree. It's a rubber tree. Uh, I think it has to do something more with the leaves. <laughs> and there's another one over there. Very cool looking trees. I like this one over here too. Look at this one. That's a very pretty tree as well. But there's this tree coming up over here that I was very interested in. There it is right there. It's a very interesting looking tree. I want to hear a very sad fact. What's a very sad fact? Giraffes are now on the endangered animal list. When did giraffes get on the endangered animals list? Like last week. Last week? Oh my gosh. It's my favorite they like, animal. They like slipped on there so silently and nobody knows about it. Oh. Depressing. Well, we are here to inform. Yes. And also the bees. Yes. Save the bees. Save the bees, definitely. Without Five, bees, we will never we survive. Gotta, we gotta put up the 500,000 bees got burned to death in Texas. Oh. Yes, I saw that. And, and like some yeah. of them. And arsonists did yeah, that. Somebody, yeah, somebody, they threw them in the um, river too. And oh. like some people, like the people who came and investigated saw that the bees were still tending to the eggs in the water while their hive was like drowning wow. to death. Like okay, happy Mother's Day. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This is the Tanyosho pine. It's a Japanese red pine. These are like a really gorgeous tree. Our magnolia tree at our house is very sad looking. But, Look at that. This made us feel a lot better because theirs is very sad looking as well. I think it just has to do with the snow and the cold weather that we've been having uh, in late April and early May. So what I guess I am to understand is you can drive to the different trolls, but then you just park your car in these lots and then you get to them by hiking the rest of the way and I don't think this would be very good for wheelchairs and such as it is just like chipped wood and mulch for the pathway all right we got quite a hike we gotta go this way and up the hill but there he is way up there on top of the hill Way up there. My... So we'll get a close up look at him in just a minute. Caution! Trolls ahead. I did not wear my boots today. The girls were smart and they did. I am just in my gym shoes. But look at this. Quite a mess. I'm just trying to stay out of the worst of the muddy parts okay that is one steep incline there we go so there is the expressway illinois 88 or i-88 and here and there he is He's got a name. I'll give you a name here in a second. I think he's the Guardian Troll. Okay, Joe the Guardian. Beside the brook, our cozy nook. So Emerson is filling in the clues 
And then by using those clues, we'll be able to find the secret troll hideout. Yes. And we'll pay him with children. <laughs> we will pay him with children. <laughs> I didn't sign up for that. <laughs> so Joe the Guardian. There he is. All right, so the incline's supposed to be easy going down, but I doubt that that's You can't see how beautiful it is. We are up high. Just a small, small, small part of the Morton Arboretum grounds. We've been already walking well over a mile just to get to the first troll. Now, even though they are considered weeds, there are many dandelions out here, and you are not allowed to pick anything at the Mor Mor Morton Arboretum, uh, even the weeds. But look at the size of these dandelions. These are huge. Yes, so this is the crab apple collection. And all these trees over here are all crab apples. Emerson has spotted another major dandelion. Look at the size, she can't even close her fingers around it. That is so huge. Look at that. It's nice bigger than the camera. <laughs> Yet to the next troll, we must venture into the forest. Emerson wanted to investigate this tree. And there's some mushrooms growing on the tree. But look at the size of this tree. It has faltered and fell over. OK, this is truly a hunt because these trolls are miles apart from one another. And we are literally hiking to each troll. So we are, I believe, about to come up to troll number two. Caution, trolls ahead. So if you want the earth to be a better place, you've got to change some things. All right, we are coming up on yet another troll here. I believe this one is a she, correct? Furry Emma. Furry Emma? Ready? Her name is Furry Emma. The owl calls outside our halls. And here is Furry Emma. She has set her trap. You can hug, right? Yeah, you can hug, but don't climb. So yes, Furry Emma has set her trap. Luckily, none of the family had fallen for it. I thought Vivian might. I was going to. But no. Go climb those ropes. She's got some pretty big feet. I like her toenails. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Back up. Get out of the mud park. <laughs> Over here are plants of Korea. Look at this. You just got this little section over here. A tree over there. These are all from Korea. Look at the size of these trees over here. Look how tall they are. Okay, so it is time to leave the forest and come back out to more open land. And we will see our next troll shortly. This is Sneaky Socks Alexa. Tween Pond and Lake are home we make. Sneaky Socks Alexa. Please hug, but do not climb the trolls. So here's her story. Is she's sitting here. She does have a rope. And that rope leads over to a cage with a water canister in there. So here's the rope. 
and it goes over here. There's a water container right there. And then she'll pull the rope and capture you when you try to get some refreshment. Here's the troll. Here's the booty. And look at over here. It's troll booty. Is her butt and her feet. <laughs> I like the way they even put the calf muscles on her. Look at that. Or he put the calf muscles on them, not they. This was all one artist. That's pretty darn cool. Okay, so we are walking on over there. There is a troll hiding in those trees over there, but there is a smashed car. I believe that troll is throwing rocks at that car. So, well, uh, let's investigate that a little further, huh? So, if you're wondering what happened to this car here and why it is smashed to smithereens, we have a rock throwing troll here. So I wonder if this troll has something against all cars or just Fords. Yes. <laughs> yellow ones. Huh? Just yellow? Just yellow cars. Just yellow cars. Not yellow Fords in particular, just at least just yellow cars. So his name is Rocky Bardwell. To the west is where we rest. So just so you are aware, they do have stroller rental and they do have a place where you can rent wheelchairs. So all you have to do is inquire at the information desk and they will help you out. Acorn with you, it promotes longevity. It's a Norwegian folktale. Norwegian folktale, acorns equal longevity. So you carry one in your pocket at all or times. Or your purse. Or your purse or whatever. So Becky got us some silver acorns and because so i just keep it in my pocket all the time yeah because it's a magnet oh it's a magnet look it's got the troll on there nice awesome that's one of the trolls we haven't seen yet is it yeah we have not seen this one all right so on to that one since we had to go back by the visitor center uh we decided to stop in the gift shop so we didn't have to come all the way back <laughs> Okay, everyone, I am going to stop the vlog right here. This is going to just be, this is going to be a two-parter. So that was the end of part one. Um, I didn't realize when we got into this how much filming I was going to be doing. So um, at this point, or at the point we just left, I was already 17 minutes and 35 seconds into editing and you would be amazed at the stuff that wound up on the cutting room floor um <laughs> so tomorrow's vlog will really concentrate on just the last few trolls um but it was amazing and where we also ate for dinner but it is amazing how far they are from one another this property is huge um just miles miles and miles long so um i don't know exactly how many square miles it is but um from each troll um except for maybe like the last like the the middle couple they were like you know a mile apart from one another and to, i mean if if you walk the entire thing to see every single troll and then you find the hideout you will have walked on eight miles i think it was so um, that's a lot of walking. Um, now we did find out that if you do want to go see this thing and you, uh, you can take your car, park at certain parking lots, and then take a short little trip, you still got to walk some. And some of them are pretty steep inclines. Um, but uh, you can, it'd be a shorter uh, distance. But, you know, hey, Becky and I were trying to lose some weight, um, especially Becky. She's on the Weight Watchers. Um, I'm just kind of watching what I eat, um, but not under a strict program. Uh, so the walking did us good. Um, we wound up walking a total of about five and a half miles uh, personally, and then we got back in our car and then found the last three things. Uh, or tro the last two trolls and then the hideout. So that would be kind of an idea of what uh, uh, to expect if you are planning a trip there. 
Okay, so um, uh, plan on part two tomorrow. Uh, hope everybody did have a wonderful Mother's Day um, uh, to all the mothers out there. So if you like what you see, as always, please give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below, and we'll see you guys next time on Where the Heck Are the Albans? <laughs> Bye, everyone.